morning. I am Devi Sena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about ad hoc network and its types. Wireless ad hoc network, that is WANET. Here is a representation of wireless ad hoc network. Yeah, wireless ad hoc network is a type of local area network that is built spontaneously to enable two or more wireless devices to be connected to each other without requiring a central device such as a router or access point. When Wi-Fi networks are in ad hoc mode, each device in the network forwards data to the others. Ad hoc network working. Devices in the ad hoc network require a wireless network adapter and they need to support a hosted network. When setting up a wireless ad hoc network, each wireless adapter must be configured for ad hoc mode instead of infrastructure mode. All wireless adapters need to use the same service set identifier that is SSID and channel number. Wireless ad hoc network features. Ad hoc networks adhere to dynamic topologies. Network topology which is typically multi hops may change randomly and rapidly with time. It can form unidirectional or bidirectional links. Expensive equipments are not necessary to set up on the fly ad hoc network. Nodes are free to move arbitrarily with different speeds. Thus, the network topology may change randomly and at unpredictable time. The second feature is ad hoc networks suffer from bandwidth constrained and variable capacity links. Wireless links usually have lower reliability, efficiency, stability and capacity as compared to wired network. The throughput of wireless communication is even less than a radio's maximum transmission rate after dealing with the constraints like multiple access, noise, interference, conditions, etc. The reliability, efficiency, stability and capacity of wireless links are often inferior when compared with wired links. The third feature is each node in an ad hoc network has autonomous behavior. Each node can act as a host and router which shows its autonomous behavior. All nodes have identical features with similar responsibilities and capabilities and hence it forms a completely symmetric environment. The fourth feature is node connectivity is intermittent that it is not steady or it is irregular. The fifth one is the terminals in the network or lightweight terminals. In maximum cases, the nodes in ad hoc network are mobile with less CPU capability, low power storage and small memory size. The sixth feature is shared physical medium. The wireless communication medium is accessible to any entity with the appropriate equipment and adequate resources. Accordingly, access to the channel cannot be restricted. Now, we will discuss about the seventh feature. In ad hoc network, the energy constrained operations can be critical in terms of certain resource utilization. As some or all the nodes rely on batteries or offer exhaustible means for their energy. Mobile nodes are characterized with less memory, power and lightweight features. Now the eighth one is ad hoc networks offer limited security. Wireless networks are more prone to security threats. A centralized firewall is absent 
due to its distributed nature of operation for security, routing, and host configuration. Now, the ninth one is less human intervention is required in ad hoc network. They require minimum human intervention to configure the network. Therefore, they are dynamically autonomous in nature. Ad hoc network has a mobile and spontaneous behavior which demands minimum human intervention. Now, the tenth one is no single point of failure in an ad hoc network. The eleventh feature is in ad hoc network, multi hop routing is required as per situation. When a node tries to send information to other nodes, which is out of its communication range, the packet should be forwarded via one or more intermediate nodes. The twelfth one is high user density and large level of user mobility. The thirteenth feature is in ad hoc networks, no central management hub is required from where all devices can be controlled. And the last feature is in ad hoc networks, the operations are performed in distributed manner. Distributed nature of operation for security, routing, and host configuration. A centralized firewall is absent here. There is no background network for the central control of the network operations. The control of the network is distributed among the nodes. Ad hoc network types Mobile ad hoc network, that is Manet. Vehicular ad hoc network, that is Vanet. Smartphone ad hoc network, that is Span. Wireless mesh network, that is WMN. Wireless sensor network, WSN. And intelligent based mobile ad hoc network, that is IMANET. These are the types of ad hoc networks we are going to discuss now. Mobile ad hoc network, that is MANET. Here is a representation of mobile ad hoc network. An ad hoc network of mobile devices. This is a self configuring and self organizing network of mobile devices. A MANET consists of a number of mobile devices that come together to form a network as needed without any support from an existing internet infrastructure or any kind of fixed stations. A MANET can be defined as an autonomous system of nodes or mobile stations also serving as routers connected by wireless links, the union of which forms a communication network modeled in the form of an arbitrary communication graph. Vehicular ad hoc network used for communication between vehicles. Intelligent planets use artificial intelligence and ad hoc technologies to communicate what should happen during accidents. This network is formed by communication between moving vehicles and other roadside devices. Smartphone ad hoc network representation is shown here. Wireless ad hoc network created on smartphones via existing technologies like Wi Fi and Bluetooth. These are peer to peer networks formed by smartphones within a range of each other without requiring any cellular carriers, wireless success points, etc. Wireless mesh network. A mesh network is an ad hoc network where the various nodes are in communication directly with each other to relay information throughout the total network. The devices connected to this network form a wireless mesh and depending upon the mobility pattern, nature of devices and inter device distance. Wireless sensor network. 
While the sensors are portable devices that capture specific information from environment, ranging from temperature, humidity, pressure readings to noise level, traffic, volume, etc. These portable sensing devices can form an ad hoc network to deliver information to a home base without needing to connect directly to it. This network is developed to collect the information on the fly. Disaster Rescue Ad Hoc Network Ad hoc networks are important when disaster strikes and established communication hardware is not functioning properly. Intelligent Based Mobile Ad Hoc Network that is IMANET. This is used in linking fixed nodes and mobile nodes via routing protocol which automatically establishes connection in decentralized manner. Ad hoc network commercial applications. Ad hoc networks are used frequently in new types of wireless engineering. Wireless ad hoc networks require minimal configuration and can be deployed quickly which makes them suitable for emergencies such as natural disasters or military conflicts. There are dynamic and adaptive routing protocols so that these networks can be configured quickly. The importance of Vardagas network has been highlighted in many fields as described below. First point, in provincial level, the second application, personal area network and home and enterprise network. The third application in industry sector field. The fourth application is in Bluetooth. The fifth application is in tactical slash military networks. The sixth application is in sensor networks. The seventh application is in emergency services. The third application is in commercial and civilian environment. Ninth application is in educational applications. And the tenth application in entertainment field. Thank you very much for listening this lecture. If you like this lecture means kindly share this video to your friends. For further updates kindly subscribe my channel. Thank you.